Uh, Rob, uh, Ali, when he spoke to Nigel on uh, Saturday, sort of hinted at it. How uh, big a dilemma is it who to start <laughs> with on, on Thursday? Because, I mean, you're, you're going well on all fronts yes. at the moment, aren't you? Yeah, there's a few there's a few, a few interesting things for us to deal with. I think the, the big one is, obviously, it's a short training week. Um, and, obviously, to get uh, a lot of changes up and running and uh, to the stand that we probably need to go over there and win an important game of rugby is going to be difficult. We obviously want to use the squad and, and get everyone refreshed and ready to go back into the Premiership, which is looking a very, very exciting competition for us now. So we, we've, got a, we've got a few interesting things to deal with. I mean, I think what you'll probably see is that We'll sit largely with a quite a strong group um, going over there. We'll we'll probably look after anybody who's picked up bumps or bruises in the last week or two, obviously because it's a short turnaround. So we won't, we won't risk um, forcing anybody through who's a little bit sore. Um, but but I think it will be a strong group, and it'll be a, a group that we would expect to go over and and win the game because that's what we have to do. Obviously, you play them home and away in successive weeks. Do you expect the away match to be a tougher proposition? Well, I mean, everything everything in sports as it should be. You know, away games are, uh, tend to be tougher, and particularly uh, when there's tra a fair distance of travelling involved and going to going to a different country, and especially playing in France, and uh, with the reputation that French teams have of, of defending their home patch. So we know it's going to be tough. Um, but you know, we've come through some tough battles in the last few weeks and I think we're quite excited about it. It's a week that, as a player, you should probably quite like because they've been in today for mainly recovery and a bit of a running round of, of patterns and stuff that we want to use. Um, they got tomorrow off and they come in for a team run on Wednesday and we fly to France. So it's not a, it's not a, a, a player's nightmare by any means. It's a bit of a coach's nightmare because you don't get, don't get to spend a lot of time with them. But um, what we're probably going to try and do is, is run through Playing in a playing with the similar patterns as we worked out over a few weeks that the players are very comfortable with, uh, and we'll look to ram those into the game with tempo. Uh, and then obviously we've got to take our opportunities when they come. But it, it'll be a strong it'll be a strong group of players, um, and, and I'm quite looking forward to it because there will be the opportunity for guys who've maybe been a little unfortunate not to play more rugby in the last couple of weeks. It does give them a chance. You know, you, you look at someone like Ben White who was who was outstanding at Northampton and yet hasn't played in our last our last two wins. You know, hasn't even fe featured off the bench. So. That's very important. Um, you know, we have got a few backs who, you know, have not had a lot of time, but we know are very good players. Got guys like Tom James, Fetty Vinicola, Adam Hughes. You know, um, Byron McGuigan. You know, we've got quite a lot of fit guys who are up and running now. Mitch Lees is back, up and running. You know, we've got we've got some real. Uh, so real strength and depth at the moment and, and seeing how those those guys meld in with the rest of the players over the next couple of weeks is going to be very important for us going forward over the rest of the season. How do you see that, Paul? It's wonderfully competitive so far. All four have been mm. home wins. Do you think an away win somewhere might just prove crucial? Yeah, I think this is a very important game for us. I think it's going to be a little, probably a little bit defining for us and how things turn out because, um, you know, with, without doubt, you know, we're, we're kind of top of the pool not by default, but top of the pool by, by going well against Connacht. And you know, I think we feel very disappointed not to win out in Bayonne and losing the game very late on, almost by our design. It was quite frustrating. Um, but what it does do is it makes it, it makes it interesting for us and it does force us to have to go out there and go for a win. Because I think if we lose it, we'll, we'll start to lose control of the group. And that's what you can't do. You can't, you can't let things go out of your own hands. And the moment's still in our hands um, and we've got to keep it that way. You've had some great nights in France, or been involved in some great games, but you've tended, for one reason or another, just to come out on the wrong side of very narrow hmm. matches, haven't you? Very close yeah, that, that's right. And as I say, probably the, the game against Bayonne was probably the most frustrating because we were in control for such a large part of the game, and we almost, like I say, we, we almost manufactured a change in momentum in the first half, and then we almost manufactured their opportunity to score a try to win the game at the end. And as I say, that, that that's frustrating, but you, know, you have to you have to deal with those things and you have to move forward. And we we dealt with it. We move forward and. And the outcome of those four games through the LV Cup period and the Amlin with the, uh, sorry, the Amlin, not the, the Challenge Cup, were that we were we were still in the head of both of those pools, and we came into the Premiership in good form, and that's what we've got to look at again. We've got to we've got to be looked to be heading the pool, and getting back into the Christmas Premiership games in good form. The, the, the challenge is no different. Uh, you've already touched on the injury news, but uh, what are the bullet points otherwise? Pretty much fully fit squad. Yeah, we, we're pretty good at the moment. You know, like I say, Mitch Lee's being back in contention is good. Jack Yendel has got a little bit of an aggravated back, which is not is not a major thing. But I think our inclination is to get it 100% right because obviously we want him to have a big part over the course of the season. Um, but you know, the majority of guys came through a tough game against Saracens pretty well. Uh, a lot of them are available. You know, whether we'll pick them all or choose this game to give some of them a break, or next week uh, we'll decide in the next day or two. But um, it's, it's a strong group to, to work with. A strong group that are training here today. Um, and as I said, you know, I'm, I'm expecting the 23 that go over there to do a big job for us in France. Brilliant.